Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, some exciting news this week. A new plan application was put in by the developers uh, on the Witchelstow development. They've put planning in for uh, this section that joins up the uh, current section with the Dragonfly on up by Waitrose to join up to the um, East Witchell section, section on the um, canal uh, running along parallel with the M4. So today we're going to be using Realm Maps Online again. Thank you to Matthew Bromley for letting us uh, use this and uh, a big thanks to Chris Lowe who designed it. So we're in the Swindon section, uh, we're going to concentrate on this section here, uh, which is some new the new uh, plan applications have gone through for. Uh, as you can see, um, this is the Waitrose section, this has been built on now, uh, you've got Hall and Woodhouse here. Um, I'm going to stand here and do some filming um, this is the old line that's being restored uh, and this is the new plan and application coming in across here to Fox and Way uh, there's, this isn't being done yet this is going to be the new M4 crossing which goes across the butterfly world and the, uh, and the garden centre uh, and the green line down here won't be restored that takes you down to Wolf Farm along the old route which runs parallel to Wolf Road As I said, I'm going to be filming uh, just here. There's a roundabout in there now. Uh, it goes across this this planning application went in previously. Uh, and then we're going to concentrate on the mill lane section where I record from about here and send the drone across. And um, I'll park up here and have a look at, on Fox and Way and back across. I'm just walking up now where the, uh, the new road's going to be. So this is uh, the existing application. It's not the uh, not the new one. Um, all this land is being built on. Uh, you can see the canal line uh, just over there with that tree line, and um, just over there. So you can see a canal just here now. Um, so this is the Waitrose section. It's where uh, the more the uh, more dragonfly just up there. So there's going to be a bridge here. You can see the end, end of the line. The bridge you can see on the plans is uh, is just here. I'm kind of on top of where it's going to be now. It'd be a narrow bridge like the one up uh, by the pub by Hallenwood House and Waitrose. And then it's going to join back onto the line here. So this, this is the existing line. Uh, this hasn't changed. This is still... Um, what was the old Swindon line, which goes up to the town centre, North Wilkes branch. You can see down here, you can see the reeds in here. Um, that that is, that is the old line. So that goes across, goes under where the M4 is now, uh, goes to Wharf Farm, and then run across the fields there, uh, and joins up uh, near, near the garden centre, uh, where Butterfly World and stuff is. Uh, as you'll see on other videos, um, there's a new link coming in, which is the M4 crossing, which is going to be a further across there in the fields over there. Uh, that's going to join on to this new panel application and, um, and join up to the Bassett sections. There's no timeline on this at the moment. Uh, they've just said it's going to be kind of done in three stages. This section here, they don't seem to be doing any building work at the moment. Uh, they, most of the work's done uh, to the left of this. If you're, if you're following this route up here, you can see the tree line in the middle of my images here. That goes up and roughly on the tree line going left, uh, it's going to go across the fields uh, and then uh, go under Mill Lane just up there. The old, the old canal line used to run straight ahead from this middle tree line and go under the motorway to um, Wall Farm on the other side. Just here below where the drone is now, there's going to be a swing bridge. It'd be closed all the time for a footpath to go across and only open when boats go through. It should give a bit of fun for the uh, boat crews on the Dragonfly. We're now looking across to the M4, crossing uh, and back down to the junction. Following, roughly following this tree line uh, and across. Um, you can just see Mill Lane coming up in the middle now. 
and the new development has started now just up in the distance over a couple of sort of fields that have been built and you can see the um, existing um, East Witchell section. towards that uh, new junction now so it's just gonna be just ahead here um, you can see the junction on the left on this picture uh, going across to um, the rest of the site across to Mill Lane on the other side of that now uh, we've got the retention ponds here um, the canal lines just gonna be just behind these uh, you can see the overflow which will go into the canal and the tunnel uh, will come just in on the right there uh, now we're going off uh, up through, uh, that, that's the bun there, bit the building there for stopping the noise from the road and uh, then the canal line will run up through the middle there and you can just see um, kind of in the middle at the top is the um, is the line that's kind of half dug already, it's not full of water with the bridge uh, going under to, to the existing locks. So this is the uh, Foxham Way and the locks by it. The canal, you can kind of see where they've previously dug his section. There's a new development just on the right there. Uh, and this goes off across uh, pretty much in a straight line um, and over towards Mill Lane. You can just see the lakes coming in now, which is um, with our, re our retention ponds, but they're going to run into the canal. And then that tree line is uh, where the canal is going to run through. This section is due to be the last uh, bit to do uh, going under the road itself. As you can see here, uh, I'm assuming they've got to close the road, dig the road out, put the put the piece in, and then uh, and then fill the road back in over the top. So it goes across there and then um, joins from that tree line there, joins across to the weight trace section just here. So just by the um, 
the lakes here. Uh, so they're going to run into the uh, into the canal eventually. They're overflowing, so I believe. So you can see the M4 just uh, in the distance there, uh, to the to the right of the M4 there. That's that's the road that the tunnels go underneath there, which joins up to uh, just over there where I was filming a minute ago. And uh, that way joins back up to um, the sort of south section section of the uh, of the canal that's already there. Uh, you'll see that in the drain footage. Uh, this has just started here. Uh, you can see the road go going through right across, um, and the canal is just to the left there. The bridge just over there. Just on one of the bridges to show you kind of what to expect uh some of the drone flight, flight we showed us as well so this is um it's a bit of a miserable day it's, and it's getting quite late for us sun goes down very soon but um so it's not the best shots but yeah we have this canal running through the middle of houses part of the community uh it's gonna look very good i think when it's done well same goes for there it's down towards the leaks over there 